Walton Goggins has played everything from a volatile detective on The Shield to a deceiving ex-child star on The Righteous Gemstones. In Fallout, however, he may be playing his most terrifying role to date, but transforming into the ghoul was no easy task. Amazon Prime recently dropped the entire first season of the highly anticipated video game adaptation Fallout, and audiences finally got their first good look at Walton Goggins' character. When they did, they were probably blown away by his intricate prosthetics and makeup. The Righteous Gemstones actor is completely transformed as the Lone Ranger known as the Ghoul. In actuality, Goggins plays not one, but two characters on Fallout. In flashbacks to 2077, the year that the world was destroyed by the Great War and countless nuclear bombs, we watch as Goggins' former TV star Cooper Howard grapples with the fact that his wife Bob works with a suspicious company called Vault Tech. As she prepares for a potential nuclear disaster and readies vaults so that some people can survive the apocalypse, Cooper grows more and more concerned. This brings everything back to the series' first scene where Cooper and his daughter Janie stare down one of the first nuclear blasts. So, how did Goggins transform into the ghoul, a merciless bounty hunter and gunslinger who wanders the wasteland? While speaking virtually in a panel for Deadline, the actor said the experience was extremely anxiety-provoking. It also led to him figuring out how to move his face and mouth with a ton of prosthetics and retainers that effectively erased his real teeth. He added, When I put in the retainers, these things that kind of covered these pearly white teeth I couldn't speak. I couldn't get the words out. During the deadline panel, Goggins also said that it originally took five hours to turn him into the ghoul between the retainers and prosthesis. Despite his initial anxiety, Goggins said that he and Vincent Van Dyke, the show's prosthetic designer, managed to bring that five-hour time frame down to just two hours and Goggins finally figured out how to play the ghoul. Goggins also appeared on Late Night with Seth Meyers to promote Fallout in March, and told the host that the show worked hard to make sure the ghoul wasn't too intolerable to look at. So I said, could you, could you do Chris Christopherson if he were 250 years old and, and had been walking the wasteland and had been drinking all night? Plus, Goggins told Meyers that he's that much more grateful for his real face now. Face. I have so much gratitude for my nose. Yes! I'd wake up in the morning and go, oh, I love you. You're so beautiful. <laughs> These days, Goggins is more in demand than ever, and his major role on Fallout is just more proof of that. The character actor is known for a ton of projects, including Justified and The Shield. And in recent years, his profile has only grown. He even officially joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe in 2018 in Ant-Man and the Wasp. Goggins currently lends his voice to Invincible, the popular animated superhero series also available on Amazon Prime. But he's also a featured player on the raucous HBO comedy The Righteous Gemstones as baby Billy Freeman. Well, why you do it then, baby Billy? Well, because I'm selfless and I want to heal as many people as the dear Lord lets me. The reason that Goggins couldn't physically appear at the deadline panel is also thanks to another major project, season three of the award-winning anthology series The White Lotus. As of April 2024, nobody knows exactly who Goggins is playing on The White Lotus, but hopefully, he's better looking than the ghoul.